Hey guys, on this week's show, what are we going to talk about? We want to talk about CarPlay. That's right. So unless you were living under a rock somewhere? Under? Under a rock. Out of touch. Okay. Okay, don't have a phone. <laughs> Which wouldn't help you in this case. Anyways, CarPlay, here it comes. There you go. What's going on? What's going on? Not much. Did you did you read all these? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Really? No. I didn't think so. I mean, dude, it's it's like, okay, so you download this one first. This is the instructions That's to tell you how to download this one, which is the second instructions. And then they tell you to download this, which is an amendment to the owner's manual's instructions. That's a lot of instructions. A lot of goddamn instructions. Hey guys, what's going on? Today we're gonna talk about CarPlay, because mm -hmm. it's cool, and everyone's asking us. What is CarPlay? Do you know what CarPlay is? Of course I know what CarPlay is. How could you not know what CarPlay exactly. is? It's been all over the news. It's been all over the, 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 the social medias. It's been everywhere. I mean, oh, basically, yeah. unless you're the biggest Android fan in the world and have been totally blocking it out, you know what CarPlay is. But I can understand all you Android guys. Mm -hmm. It's okay. It's, you know, whatever. Yeah. Uh-huh. Haters. Um, so what do I need to do CarPlay? What I need a need? printer with a whole bunch of paper, apparently. Exactly. Because... Print some, print, print this stuff. Now, Pioneer does a really awesome job of explaining everything there is to know about updating your unit. Right. They give pictures. you great pictures, color. Okay. Download it. Makes it real simple. It takes about 10 to 15 minutes to do the update. Yep. You do need a two gig USB flash drive, and yep. a Windows computer works the best. Yeah. Uh, the Mac computer has been giving us nothing but heartache. Um, so. Find a friend that's got a Windows computer for all you Mac guys. So what Let's do go. I need once I've done the update? You need a yeah, USB cable. to Lightning cable. And it yeah. has to be an Apple certified one. We just so happen to be using the iSimple Apple certified cable. Okay, now. Show me. That's it. That's all you really need. Okay. Um, Bluetooth, none of that stuff, you don't need any of it. You don't need to pair your phone. Uh, if you got a new unit, you're doing the update, you don't have to pair Bluetooth, you don't have to do anything. All you do is simply plug this in, like this, unlock your phone, mm -hmm. and it says CarPlay. CarPlay. And then on the screen, it appears just like that. Awesome. It's that hard. It's that hard. I know, right? Sad. Okay, so what does CarPlay give me? Well, CarPlay is going to give you these top four things, your phone, your music, your maps, your messages, as well as now playing in the NEX. The NEX feature is going to take you back to the normal menu. Tap up here again, and it'll take you back. If you listen to podcasts, it'll also give you podcasts. And if you're Spotify, if you do Spotify, uh, Spotify will appear on here. Why don't we get on to the demo and talking about what this thing will do. Let's so, do it. people have already asked us a bunch of questions, so what we're going to yes. do is we're going to try to address those things. Uh, first question people have asked is, how do, what, what, can I listen to the radio and have the navigation playing? Yes. Yes, you can. Okay. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is put it on a radio station. Okay. And then as you turn the volume up, you'll notice right over here it says alerts. Okay. Now these alert volumes are for when the map talks. So you come over here and you go mode, okay, and we'll go back to home. Just we'll hit maps, okay. Awesome. Yeah, and now we'll hit destination, and we'll come up here and let's say we'll hit Raymond James because we want to see the bucks this weekend. We hit start. Starting route two, Raymond James Stadium, head east on so Altitude Bay Boulevard. So she'll chime right in there and. Right over, you know, the radio. Right. And that. So every time she wants to come in and talk, she comes in, you know, she'll interrupt. So that was that was one of the big questions people asked. They're like, you know, well, that works. So yes, it will. Now. Okay. Next question. Next question. You have the home button here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you hit the home button and want to do music. All right. So it'll show you all your music. Just like, you know, it has the same icons as an iPod. No big deal there. I mean, nothing, nothing groundbreaking is happening. So when you go to something, oh, that's radio. Let's go to playlist. Let's go down here and we'll go to, right, so it'll just go ahead and play. Um, if you'll notice, the album artwork is, is in the background. It's very dim. 
and that's pretty much how it, it reacts to everything. So whether it's on Spotify or any of the other radio stations that it's c capable of, um, it just kind of puts like a small or a dark version of the album cover on the background. Uh, it gives you really giant buttons to work with. Right. Okay. And then back will take you back. And you can go to your playlist. So let's see what hit purchased. I don't know if I have anything. Oh, let's go back to Haley's playlist. We always like that. And then tap that. There again, got that dark version of a huge album artwork in the background. Track up, track down. You can create a playlist uh, from the song. Do one of those cool. And then turn it up, turn it down, hit mute. Um, and of course, you can be having the GPS going in the background at the same time. And, you know, it'll give you the alert. So that all works the same. Um, hit the home button again. Now, when you want to make a phone call, it's going to launch Siri. With whom would you like to speak? Fernando Lopez. Calling Fernando Lopez. So this is what it looks like when it wants to make a call. Well, we know Fernando will eventually answer the phone because he's right here. Um, so we'll go ahead and end it. Now, one of the other things, oh, we don't want to do that. I want to go here, hit mode. All right. Mode will take you back. Okay. Now, as you can see, this is the standard iPod look. Let's go back here and we'll go back to the HD radio. Now, one thing that is unique is that once you've hooked up CarPlay and you want to make a phone call, okay, if you hit the phone icon, it launches CarPlay. That's awesome. So, well, it is and it isn't, but yeah. Um, and of course, you can scroll through all your, you know, your favorites, your recents, your contacts. You can go through all that stuff, um, and then you hit the home button. Now, messages work just like Siri's eyes free. Would you like to hear your unread messages or create a new one? Unread messages. You have a message from Susan Bayett. No practice. Would you like to reply? Yes. Okay, what do you want to say to Susan Bant? I'll see you after we're done shooting videos. Your message to Susan Bant says, I'll see you after we're done shooting videos. Ready to send it? Yes. Okay, I'll send it. And that's that. So that that'll walk you through, you know, how how you use the um, the CarPlay, the CarPlay for messaging. If you press and hold the home button, just like on your phone, it'll go ahead and launch Siri for you. Let's ask her an easier question. Who won the football game last night? Which league? College football or NFL? NFL. The Seahawks beat the Redskins by a score of 27 to 17 yesterday. Oh, yes. Really? That's so sad. So you get the idea. So CarPlay gives you... Oh, here. And new message. I have a new message. Pops up on the screen. So That's I, awesome. I can just tap it. You have a message from Susan Bayett. Uh, she is at Starbucks studying and I'm at my parents working. Had to go back. Well, there you go. Would you like to reply? No thanks. That's all your messages. What do you think? Pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Pretty cool. You know. It add a lot to your to your radio. Um, yeah. Why not? Yeah. Why do not? the update, people. Do yeah. the update. Uh, if you're afraid to do it yourself, go see the retailer you bought it from. Uh, if that retailer just so happens to be online and you're still scared, find a local retailer near you, and I'm sure they'll charge you a couple bucks to do it for you. Um, if you're our customer, come see us. We're going to do the update for free. Yeah. Yeah. If we installed it. If you install it yourself, eh, we'll charge you for it. <laughs> you know, it's, sorry. It's just uh, how, how the ship sails. Um, right. Other than that, uh, hey, you know, we do this twice a week. Monday and Thursdays. You can find us on FaceTube, face, FaceTube, FaceTube and UBook. Yep. And uh, <laughs> thanks for watching. And as yeah. always, have a great night and yes. whatever.
Peace out. See ya.